explaining career dynamics, he said that make sure that your career doesn't end like Kuwait Kamendak. And I asked him, what do you mean by that Kuwait Kamendak? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty. I am Fabiha Ali and I am working at Generation School in the capacity of a career counselor. Here at Generations, I am happy to provide students with the services where they need to tap their emotional needs. Being a psychologist, this is something which I can offer them. Now talking about me and my academic journey, let's just go back in the history when in 2009 I completed my degree in clinical psychology and then I felt that there is so much I need, I need to do in the field of education sector. For that I opted to teach in university. When I was teaching in university, I felt more a hunger for knowledge and then I enrolled myself for MPhil in social sciences and I still remember when I was doing my MPhil in social sciences there was a chapter in one of the course known as career dynamics and I still remember what my teacher told us that day. While explaining career dynamics he said that make sure that your career doesn't end like Kuwait Kamendak and I asked him what do you mean by that Kuwait Kamendak. He said that okay, have you ever seen a Mendak? The frog stays forever in that well and he doesn't know what's happening outside. And then he explained us that we have to come out from a comfort zone before the adventure zone is imposed to us. And when I asked him what is that adventure zone, he said that adventure zone is the one which is the competing market. At that time that word competing market was just like a word full of very competition to me. But then my thirst for knowledge was still not quenched. So I kept on teaching. I, right now I am a visiting faculty member at different university also where I am trying to change the mindset of the youth where they need to literally uh, work a lot for the betterment of our society. For more than 10 years I have been working as a counselor and as a psychologist and now today I understand the word which he said that competing market. To me that competing market is nothing but what the society needs the needs and demands of current era. If I choose a career which is of no use, which is only ruled by my passion, my interest, my desires and has no need or capacity in the current world, then I have wasted my so many years. I only advise one thing to students that when you are choosing a career, please keep one thing in mind and what are the current problems of our society. As a citizen of Pakistan, we need to understand one thing that there is so much and there are so many areas where, need, where we need to invest our time, efforts and hard work and that should become your career. So once you decide a career, the next thing that a person should keep on mind, so the first thing that comes in your list is your thought process of coming out from the comfort zone. Second comes the list in the list that's a choosing a career and which should be from the needs and demands of the current era. Where does the society needs you the most? The third thing that comes or which I can say can be a successful ingredient for a yummy dish or a successful career is your hard work and efforts in the right direction. So I hope I, the youth to whom I am addressing, they are very well aware of the fact that the things that need to keep in their mind is they must always have the hunger for success and that hunger for success must be for knowledge and must be for giving back to society. Remember there is always going to be a history of hard work, dedication and pain. Without this there is no success. So depending on these facts and figures which I have already shared with you, I hope now you know where your curious mind should be leading. Yes, the subject selection. So this is what which we are going to talk about in the next series and they will, Alhamdulillah, Inshallah, there are going to be a list of series where we are going to talk about what A-level subject a student should be going for in his A-levels and his O-levels, what subjects will lead him to a good universities, what type of student profile should he be or she be having and how to enter into a good university. So see you in the next episode. Allah Hafiz. Take care. Come back with the same curiosity.